Michael, big picture, first of all, why is the West, all of a sudden, this trio of uh, um, allies, so concerned with, with China? And is the threat it, it poses very real or not? Yes. Uh, I mean, in a general sense, I mean, China is a revisionist power, meaning it wants to change the rules. There are four big powers in the world, right? America, China, Russia, India. They're, they're the big powers for all different reasons, but they create the weather for everybody else. And two of those four powers, Russia and China, are revisionist. They want to change the rules. These are the rules that have been around for 350 odd years, established by, first of all, the Dutch, then the British, then the Americans, the, the maritime nations. Those rules have served everybody really very well. And since 1945, those rules have been reinforced in many, many ways. Now, Russia and China both want to change the rules to, to suit themselves. So that's where the pushback comes. Whether the present rules are right or not, whether people like them or not, they're the, one, they're the rules that most, most of the world lives by. And so given that those rules are now under challenge, of course the Americans and their allies are pushing back against them. And what's happening in the Pacific is that Chinese military development is such, and the Chinese do bully everybody else in their area, it, it has created a pushback, not just in America and Australia, but in India, in the Philippines, in Vietnam. Everybody is now pushing back back against this Chinese assertiveness uh, across, the, uh, across the Pacific. But, but to what extent would the Chinese point on this be to say, well, we don't agree with your rules and in our own backyard we get to, to set them? Uh, and pushing submarines into the Indo-Pacific is, is not something you should be doing. Well, they can argue that, um, but, the, I mean, their own backyard is their own country, and, I mean, we have issues with uh, behaviour in Xinjiang province where it's, there is genocidal policies taking place, and we say, well, that's not acceptable, we're going to criticise it. But their backyard does not include, in the current rules of the game, other countries like Vietnam and the Philippines and Indonesia. All of these countries are affected by what's called the Nine Dash Line. The, the, the Chinese, in 1952, established a line which the, the old nationalist Chinese had talked about, which basically takes all of the South China Sea as their own. And there you can see that that's called the first island chain. That line is something that the Chinese worry about. They say, we effectively want c real control in this first island chain. And that island chain runs, you see the, 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 the grey island there, mm -hmm. just to the, uh, to the off, offshore, that's Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So, of course, that belongs to China, in their view. And the Nine Dash Line runs all the way down the first island chain. And there's a second island chain. I mean, they want not just, as it were, control within the first island chain, but a second island chain runs from Japan right down to Indonesia, and they want dominance in that part of the Pacific. That covers a lot of the neighbours of China. So that's what the West is pushing back against, and they're saying, if we, want, if we want security in the Pacific, then these other countries have got to feel that they can't be bullied by China. And, and just quickly, uh, as things stand today, who does dominate this, this uh, region and how much do the, the, the new measures announced yesterday change things? The Americans are predominant in the region because they've got a very strong relationship with China, with uh, South Korea, just next door to, to, uh, to Japan. No, sorry, with, they've got a strong relationship with Japan, next door South Korea and with Taiwan and increasingly with countries like the Philippines and Indonesia and Vietnam. Although the Americans were beaten in Vietnam in the 1960s, very strong relationship now with Vietnam. So America's policies, which after all are policies of voluntarism, they're about rules and nobody has to have the Americans involved, um, but they choose to. And China is challenging all of that. So they're challenging American and Western dominance in the region and they're challenging it very, very strongly.